what is up you guys it's day welcome and welcome back to my channel i am so sorry guys for the lighting i'm back at home like i said i was gonna be back at home and unfortunately i cannot control even the background sounds that you're gonna hear because our house is literally in the main road well not in the main road but in front of the main road so yeah so i am going to be doing my 22nd birthday outfit this is the first time i'm creating a occasion outfit for myself and a whole fit for that moment so i'm going to be creating a birthday outfit for myself for the first time i'm celebrating my 22nd birthday and i just figured i'm gonna celebrate it in style baby so i'm wearing this dress this is my night dress and i want to use it as a template i figured i'm not gonna create a um which more cool i'm not gonna go ahead and make a pattern i'm just gonna take the pattern from this dress but i'm gonna edit it on this dress let me show you let me show you guys quickly this is the dress in question and what i'm going to do is i love the dress i love the fit and i just feel like because satin is not really a stretchy pattern ah, a stretchy a fabric um um it's a good template to work with i mean yeah there is room in this dress but yeah it is what it is so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to show you guys how exactly am i going to edit this template or this uh dress to create the pattern for my dress okay so first up i have a marker well not really but it's a color pencil and i wanted to see exactly where are the sides and um where are my boobs sitting because i'm not going to be wearing a bra when i do this dress so i'm gonna mark roughly here and what you're going to do is we're just going to work with one side because when you make one side like when you mark out the one side it is easier to copy it on the other side so we're going to do it on fold and initially i have to decide where exactly do i want it to curve i think here is a safe distance because then it's not too you know it's not too um exposing and then this could be like the back yeah this could be like the back i don't know if you guys can see this properly I doubt you guys can see this, but I did mark out this particular section right over here. And I did mark out this section over here. So this is where it's going to meet. And this is where I want it to start. So, because it's going to be a backless dress, right? So, yeah. And then, as for this section, um, I, love the, I love this, but I just don't want this here. I do want a straight little cut. So I might even bring it down just a little bit. So because we have this here going, then we can like make it, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I have this little mark over here. So I think I want to make it like this. And then as for the length, I do want it to be a little bit shorter. I want it to be on the short side. Um, let's see, what am I looking at? Okay, whoa. Oh guys oh my gosh okay so i'm gonna change it yeah right here this is where i want the marking to be because this is really below this is like really below i'm so sorry i'm going to include these bloopers but yeah this is what we're going to do this is really below yeah this is the one okay cool the whole world is gonna see my pajajas but that's fine and my fupa but it's cool and then as for the length of my dress i want it to be this short I think this is a good mark yeah okay guys let's get ready to create this pattern on the fabric because we don't have paper to play okay guys do not touch my floor i'm home like i said so what you're gonna need is you're obviously going to need some fabric some matching thread some needles a zip scissors a ruler okay, guys. and so a marker okay let's get started dress. um i folded it halfway right like i folded it in half then i laid it on the fabric which is also folded um which is also on fold uh, so that it can create the front piece 
and based on the little markings that I have made uh, from the dress when I was wearing it, I'm basically going to be following those um, little markings that I made over here. And like I said, guys, um, I feel like I should have extended the size just a little bit because I didn't take into account my bust. And like I said, I didn't actually get to use the zip. That's simply because of... Um, I wasn't cutting satin on a bias cut. I did cut it straight. And usually when you're working with satin, it's always best to cut it on a bias so that it can give you some form of stretch. And I didn't do that. So my sides ended up becoming a bit, <laughs> you'll see it later on, but my side, one of my sides wasn't closed and the other side was closed, but I decided to just wing it. And I would suggest that like, if you're going to recreate this dress, like try to make the sides as flared out as possible so that you can have the best fit unless you want to do the dress exactly as I did it. So the this, like some of the footage is missing um, because I only realized later after I was done filming that I didn't have any um, space on my phone. But as you guys can see, I did cut out the front, the back, and then I did also make a facing. Um, to make a facing, you just basically take the back you fold it again and then just kind of like mark out how long you want the facing to be and then that's basically what I did so that's my front my back and my facing then I started off by um you know sewing the facing first closing it off uh, because I didn't want to work with the overlocker I was really running out of time so I did end up kind of like folding uh double folding um the edges of the facing um, and then I did attach it to the back piece of my dress. So this is just me, um, you know, cutting out, um, sewing out the facing. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach it to my back piece. So as you guys can see, I'm now attaching the facing to the back piece of my dress and well of my, yeah, of my dress basically. And you're just going to do a straight running stitch. Don't forget to back um, stitch. And um, after that, I usually prefer to iron. You always have to iron your items. But like I said, I was running out of time. But you're basically going to lay it flat and then you're going to take the little uh, piece um, that you sewn like the seam and you're going to place it flat towards the um, towards the um, facing and then you're going to do a nice edge stitch so you make sure that the facing doesn't flap about when you are wearing the dress so now I started sewing the sides of my front uh, piece of my dress and I'm just double folding and stitching and sewing it down so um <laughs> yeah don't mind my boobies So this is the part where I realized that I may have royally effed up because as I was sewing this side seam, right, I combined the front and the back. So I tried this on and I realized that mm -mm, this was an accident because then I realized that the dress wasn't closing. But then because, you know, as a fashion designer, you have to be a problem solver. So I decided that the one side, I'm just going to um, double fold again and... Um, sew it down um straight stitch and then after that i decided that i was going to do the straps so when it came to the straps i did make my straps along i think it was like a meter and a half and i made three straps all together and then i attached the straps to the side to create i'm going to show you the clip is coming obviously but uh, to basically create this little side opening and to be honest guys i wasn't sure this was going to work so this is the this is the strap and i do feel like this was the wrong method for the strap because i really wanted a nice laid strap 
but um I ended up cutting it out and if you're going to be using satin either overlock that or zigzag stitch it to make sure that it doesn't frail but like I said I was running out of time and I knew that okay my well I ended up not wearing this dress but like I was running out of time so I didn't want to waste all the time on like doing these extra minor details but for you guys who would like to recreate this dress I would suggest that you definitely um zigzag or um overlock these little strips to create the panels the uh yeah the panels for the straps basically so this is just me uh you know over stitching it to make sure that it's like sitting accordingly that way when i wear the dress obviously it doesn't come undone because satin has a tendency of uh frailing very quickly and luckily for me i just knew that the dress i was only going to wear it once but for somebody who wants to wear the dress repeatedly then i would suggest that you take extra precautions and stuff like that